Well, we're back up in the Thumbland National Park and uh, we've got a nice walk ahead of us. We've got waterfalls, we've got fells, we've got some peak walking and we've got some forestry walking. So plenty to look forward to. So uh, enjoy. Welcome to Plan Watch Walk. You're at the home of great walking experiences. We endeavour to bring you some of the best walking around. Leaving our start point, we head to Linnip Spout. Continue over the fells to Coombe Fell and Peking on Hedgehope Hill. Then get some great views on Dunmore Hill on our return. We've just parked up. I've got a good backdrop to start the walk. If we look at the sign here, I don't know if we can see it, got the Linnip Spout a mile and a half. So we're going to be heading up the road here. We've got the National Park sign because we're uh, in Sumberland National Park so we'll start our walk by heading up the road. Well, you're only going to get this when you're out in the country. See how much they're attracted towards me? No, they're not sure. Once you come through the few buildings, we uh, follow the signs and we head up to the fields and we've got some signage just up ahead there and then it's spout so we'll continue on our way it's really great watching the, the sheep dogs doing their doing their job and how the, the shepherds and farmers manage it all Whenever you're walking in the Sunderland, you're still seeing some of the aftermaths of Stone Almond, which was nearly a year ago. So there's forestry clearing, clearing going on here. And then we have the, the beautiful backdrop of the Sunderland Hills all around us. Quite stunning. Well, the signage to get up to then up spout is a uh, pretty good level. I'm not sure if you can see ahead of us here there's a, another sign. So, uh, so far, path well defined. I think when we get past Linup and get up on the fells a bit more, we'll be needing to use the OS maps. But, nice mid September morning in the fells of Northumberland. So we can just see the, the river Bremish making its way along the, the valley as we pull back and just start to see the little spout. As we leave Linnip Spout, we're going to be heading up the side of Linnip Burn and uh, starting to climb a little bit. So let's see where the next stage of the walk takes us. More beautiful walking and cracking views, I imagine. Well, I've got some really good news to announce for the channel. Been uh, in conversation with OS Maps for a little period and I'm really pleased to announce that we've done a partnership agreement with, with OS Maps and we'll be uh, using all of their resources and we'll be uh, uploading the walks 
onto the OS site as well. So that's great. So we've also got the power of Ordnance Survey behind the channel as well, which is which is great news. This is the beauty of Northumberland National Park. You're out, you're in the fells, you've got your map, you've got your compass, and you're just enjoying the walk. We're going to be heading over the slight ridge ahead of us here, and then we will be onward to Coombe Fell. This walking is just so tranquil your way across the fells I come across these let's pull across and have a look at it come across these little wooden bunkers here and these are for the uh, the grouse shoots you see here they're sitting here indeed earlier on there's a grouse shoot on today across the fells with Lord Percy Nice vantage point from here. As we continue along from Cool Fell just behind us there, we've got the opposite side of the valley, and we have got Chiliot on the opposite side of the valley. And our path takes along the side of the fence we can see along here. And we are going along to Hedgehope. So we're going to be picking on Hedgehope, which is going to be at trig points at 715 metres. So we've got a bit of a dip to go through and then a climb up. And uh, you don't have to climb too high in the Thumberland to get some truly amazing views. Trig point on top of Hedgehope, and we are greasers with some just tremendous views. So let's pick some of this out. So we're heading across east, so we can get the, uh, the northeast coast. On the site is a six walks, which will take us right the way up on the southern coast. And as we pull round, we have got. Cheviot ahead of us. Let's walk on the site for Cheviot as well. This is where we've come from. Come Fells. And as we pull round, we've got our path which is going to take us back down into Ingram Valley, which is ahead of us here. So, well worth just spending a little bit of time here and taking in some of the views. I'm going to stop here, I think, have a quick bite, and then uh, continue on the way. I hope you're enjoying the views. So as we're pulling down off the top of Hedgehope, ahead of us, we've got Dunmore Hill, which we need to be heading to next. It says on the map that we should be following around the edge of a forest tree area. And we just see the, the grey area here. That used to be a forestry area. So when you're looking at OS maps, I found this a few times in the Sunderland. When you're looking at OS maps and it says forestry tree area, uh, it may have been felled at some point, but uh, you can still pick up your bearings. And we're just passing by now where they mentioned before about the, the trees. It's quite eerie and sort of sad in a way to see what was a wooded area. 
need to chop down. They've all died off. It's the odd fern which is trying to fight its way back. But uh, it's just very, very eerie. Oops, it's hard to explain really. Anyway, onward to our next point of uh, destination. As we pull down off the fells, we can see ahead of us a couple of trees with a farm buildings next to us. That's the conclusion of our walk. Just to the left, you might be able to see a couple of cars. But the walk back down, we've just got some marvellous views right the way up Ingram Valley. What a great backdrop to, to finish what's been a, a really nice walk. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, I certainly did. It's great to be back up again once into the, the Sumberland Fells. It's been a couple of months since I've done that. Um, there's been plenty of content in the walk. We've hit uh, three pretty magnificent um, peaks. The highest being Hedgehog at over 700 metres and some great views. Um, so that really concludes the walk. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you like what we do and you've got this far, why not subscribe? We'd love to see you in subscribing. And below is the um, link to all of the information, the mapping, the blog, the routing, and all the rest of the information. So until the next walk, bye for now.